my name is Navigator, and in today's video we're going to be doing a little bit more analysis on the cold shoulder shotgun, because in my experimentation with it today, it's really proved itself, and I would honestly consider it one of the best, I guess, uh, you know, easy to obtain, all around good weapons in Fallout 76 right now. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you, uh, I mean, the, the effective of it first, and then we're going to go back to my camp, and I'm going to show you the uh, the stuff that I've put on it, and we'll talk a little bit more. So, with that being said, we have a queen to kill. So where is she? There she goes. She's sitting back down in her little lake. So what I'm hoping to prove to you guys is that this weapon is incredibly, incredibly effective. She's not dead, is she? I just saw her standing. There's no... What? I just saw her standing. Two... You gotta be kidding me, man! Uh, I, oh man, do I do I want to finish this recording? You know what? No. Here's a Snallygaster, for example. You know, watch this. Gone. Like, uh, maybe I don't even need a queen to prove this to you guys. And uh, honestly, I don't. Let's go kill these Mirelurks that were spawned over here. I'll I'll show you something else. I'll go somewhere else if I have to. But this gun is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, now they're all dead too. Did that feral ghoul kill the queen and all these Mirelurks that were here not even 30 seconds ago? Uh, unbelievable. Let's go up here to Willet Corporate Housing. This place typically has floaters and snallygasters and all the nasty stuff out here in, uh, in Appalachia. So, oh yeah, there we go. Real wild bunch here in front of us. But let's see how uh, effective this is going to be against them. Hey guys, I'm over here. Where are you guys going? Whoa, that was a close one. Keep in mind, folks, this is no vats. I am using perks. Oh, there we go. I'll explain that a little bit later. But look at this. <laughs> look at me just mowing him down. <laughs> that. Folks, I have a two shot. Let me, uh, hold on, let me pull it up here for it. What is going on? I have a two-shot bullets explode plus one perception lever action that I use all the time. It's my favorite weapon, and regardless of this video, it will always be my favorite weapon. But that shotgun, the, the cold shoulder that I just used, was faster and more effective in a fight than my lever action was. So let's go back to my camp, and we'll take a look at I have on here. I'm not doing any weird glitches. I'm not, like, hopped up on quantums and, you know, uh, medics, all that stuff. Or, no, not medics. I don't know, psycho, whatever. I have pretty basic modifications and perks on. I mean, stuff that you guys are familiar with. So let me stop talking, and I will show that to you guys. Yeah, look at my wonderful abode here. Everything I need, the bare necessities. All right, let's go to modify here. And I will go to the cold shoulder shotgun. Yeah, so I have a hardened receiver on here. I could have done the prime receiver, but they do the same amount of damage. And I didn't feel like making ultra sight shells, so I just went with the hardened one. Does the same thing. I stuck with the true long barrel because I figured that superior range and hip fire accuracy would be nice. Uh, as you guys saw there, I mean, I was aiming a lot, but for the most part, if I'm in VATS, uh, I'm going to be hip firing. I, th I think that's how it works. If not, I can just change this. You guys can change this. Um, but that's why I chose the true long barrel, although there are probably better alternatives or one that will suit you better. Uh, the stabilized stock I have on here because it has superior recoil and the butt of the gun here looks awesome with kind of that train and like the little skull imprint on there. Pretty sweet. Uh, I have the glow sights. I'm not a big fan of the, the reticles and the red dots or reflexes and all that. I like the kind of iron sights, so I just put the glow ones on there because they improve something. I don't know. Uh, muzzle brake here. Improve per shot recoil, recoil control, and accuracy, so why not? Uh, although I have inferior range, it's a shotgun, so it's not like I'm going to be Boone out here, you know, sniping people. And uh, obviously I have the cold shoulder thing on here, but you can actually put different skins on here as well if this one is not suiting you. Although, if this thing isn't appealing to you, I, I, I don't know what would be. This shotgun looks epic. Alright, let's look at the perks here and then we'll wrap up the video. So going to the perk machine, I have the uh, shotgunner, oh yeah, named pretty well. Uh, in I have uh, only a, th or sorry, I have a, a, a maxing out the shotgun or perks over here in strength or anything. I'm still, I, I could be doing better is what I should say. In perception, I have skeet shooter. Uh, your, your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread. I have that maxed out and that's chance to cripple a limb. Although I'm not sure how effective that was against those floaters because their limbs are 
this already. Anyways, uh, aside from, you know, Tenderizer and uh, Bloody Mess, you know, kind of perks that will help with my damage overall, I have uh, Quick Hands on here. And this is a perk that I said to, you know, remember uh, earlier when we were fighting those floaters, because this has an 18% chance to instantly reload your clip when that is empty, or sorry, when it is empty, and I have this at three stars. And you guys saw there, it happened twice in a row. So that's 16 shots that I was firing off there without even having to press X or anything like that, you know, having to reload. So I think that, you know, some of these perks are really uh, effective with this weapon but if you're looking for a uh, kind of a bonus one to add or if you have spare points i would definitely suggest a quick hands okay just kind of spewed a lot of stuff at you for all players and the cold shoulder shotgun is at rank Four. i mean you could do the daily challenges and the week and some of the weekly challenges today and this by the end of your playthrough so if you're watching when it releases, you could have this, I mean, by the end of the day, if you don't have it already. Uh, nothing really important to say. I think I've proved myself pretty well. Get, you're not, you know, spending a lot of stuff to get it. There's no crazy new perks you have to equip. This is kind of a, a loadout that a lot of you guys are familiar with. You can even add it to a current shotgun or one you have. Uh, I know a lot of people use the Gauss shotgun. And actually, if you'll bear with me really quickly, I want to pull up a comment that someone left on my cold shoulder shotgun uh, video from earlier today. And they said, uh, this is Stig, by the way, so shout out to Stig. I just tested it a little bit, and I think it might be the best non-Goss shotgun. Super Mutants took one more shot than my anti-armor Goss shoddy, but the fire rate makes up for it. The reload is faster, too. Haha. -ha. The only downside is the is that the range seems worse. That's true. With a double-barreled shotgun, I feel like the range was always pretty inadequate. And I guess the other downside with this weapon is you can't add legendary modifications. Uh, let me just double-check for you guys, or if you don't believe me, let me show you here, but I'm almost 100% positive that you cannot add legendary modifications to this. Yeah, you cannot. Uh, and that's probably for good reason. This thing is already crazy on its own. Imagine like a two-shot this or something. But I, it's crazy. I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. Hopefully I don't have some, you know, insane title for this video or something, but I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. It's late at night here, so I gotta go to bed anyways. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.